Good morning, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today happens to be my first day of work. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so to start off the work day, we're going to dive right into our day-by-day -day devotions for dads. And let's go ahead and read this one here real quick. Because ah, I dropped my camera. God will not be mocked. God will pardon me. It's his job. Henrich Hein, 1797-1856. Heinrich Hein was a talented German poet and journalist in the 19th century, but he was also a bit of a scoundrel. Scoundrel. The government banished him, and he twice had to defeat himself in duels. He lay paralyzed for much of the last decade of his life without complaint and gained some pu public sympathy. As the story goes, on his deathbed, when he, when asked if he had gotten right with the Lord, he replied, God will pardon me, it's his job. Some may interpret that as a refreshing and accurate description of grace. God does love the world. He did choose to spend his sin, <laughs> to send his son to pay for our sin. So we might be exonerated. I'm not comfortable enough to say that pardoning is God's job, but he is the ultimate distributor of mercy and absolution. On the other hand, because there is no hint of brokenness in Mr. Hines' word, I am assuming that he was unrepentant and was, in fact, mocking the creator of the universe. As an educated man, Hind should have known better. When he died in 1856, Bibles were readily available to the public, and he very likely had come across the queer New Testament passage, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. That's Galatians 6-7. What about you? Your kids are watching. Do you show respect for God, His Word, and His church? Are you living in a healthy fear of the Lord? Or do you find yourself taking God for granted? Whatever you are, whatever you are planting in the hearts and minds of your kids, that's what they are going to reap as they mature. I, I really like how this book is a lot about not really just about our kids, but that our kids see and produce what we show them, what we plant, what we plant in, in them. It's just amazing. Anyways, guys, it's my first day of work. I don't really know what to expect, so I'm going to go finish getting ready, and uh, we'll catch you in a little bit. Well, there we go. That's the first day of work, and, man, I'm excited for this journey. I, I can't wait. I can't wait. And, yeah, I know it just started, but, you know, it's more, today is more of, like, orientation stuff and going over all that. Tomorrow some more of that. Then... We luck out with a holiday. I don't know how we manage that. That's kind of cool. Um, but it also helps them out, so that's really cool. Hi. What's up, Rue? I'm rad. How was your school day? Good. It was rad. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, um, we are getting ready to go to soccer practice for Cohen. So let's get there. No, over here. It is super windy. Super windy out here. So here's your little clip of soccer. <laughs> Sadly, the GoPro is not gonna do this justice at all. However, I'm gonna let you guys know that that is absolutely gorgeous. Like, poof, man. Anyways, practice is done. 
And now we're home. Time to eat some food. And I have decided that my Bible readings will be done on Sunday. So I won't have a vlog anymore on Sunday because I'll be reading the Bible instead. And I feel like that'd be a lot better than trying to try and the, the trying to read the Bible every day and upload two videos a day, not just one, but two. I feel like it'd be a lot easier. And honestly, I'll probably have more time to make one video a day and not two kind of thing. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. We will catch you tomorrow in another vlog. Have a great night and God bless. Don't ever give up, God is here with you Yeah, You are a child, nothing but love is true This God it thinks of you, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ